you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministry december 17th thursday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew chapter 1 verses 1 to 17 an account of the genealogy of Jesus the Messiah the son of David the son of Abraham Abraham was the father of Isaac and Isaac the father of Jacob and Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers and Judah the father of Perez and Zerapheth by Tamar and Perez the father of Hezron and Hezron the father of Aram and Aram the father of Abinadab and Abinadab the father of Nehoshan and Nehoshan the father of Solomon and Solomon the father of Boaz by Rahab and Boaz the father of Obed by Ruth and Obed the father of Jesse and Jesse the father of King David and David was the father of Solomon by the wife of Uriah and Solomon the father of Rehoboam and Rehoboam the father of Abijah then Abijah the father of Azab and Azab the father of Jehoshaphat and Jehoshaphat the father of Jerob and Jerob the father of Uziah and the Uziah the father of Jotham and Jotham the father of Agaz and Agaz the father of Hezekiah and Hezekiah the father of Manasseh and Manasseh the father of Amos and Amos the father of Josiah and Josiah the father of Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of deportation to Babylon and after deportation to Babylon Jeconiah was the father of Zelatiel and Zelatiel the father of Zerubbabel and Zerubbabel the father of Abiuth and Abiuth the father of Eliakim and Eliakim the father of Azo and Azo the father of Zadok and Zadok the father of Achim and Achim the father of Eliuth and Eliuth the father of Eleaz and Elias the father of Martha and Martha and the father of Jacob and Jacob the father of Joseph the husband of Mary of whom Jesus was born who is called the Messiah so all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations and from David to deportation to Babylon 14 generations and from the deportation to Babylon to the Messiah 14 generations the gospel of the lord to praise the lord jesus christ dear friends one of the main purposes of matthew's gospel which is was written for jewish christians by jewish christian is to show the continuity of jesus in the history and the tradition of israel today's passage from matthew is the opening of his gospel it introduces the words the book of uh, genealogy of christ the son of david the son of abraham these two names are the most significant in the family line jesus as the christ the, will be a king in the line of david and he descended from abraham to whom god had set in your descendants all the nations of the earth shall bl- find blessings The genealogy is divided into three significant parts, each with 14 generations. This is probably because the numerical value of the Hebrew letters in David's name amount to 14. The third and the last list actually only contains 13 names. Perhaps Matthew meant Jesus' name to be part of the list. After all, the genealogy of Jesus continues beyond him to his followers. Or... perhaps a scribe somewhere along the line got his numbers mixed up the first part is from abraham to david the second from david to deportation to babylon and the third from deportation to joseph and mary of course it is not a complete genealogy the names mentioned all appear one way or another in the hebrew testament There are four women mentioned Tamar, Rahab, 
Ruth and Mary. Each one of them interesting characters, characters in their own right. There are also a number of uh, scoundrels in this list. Even David, one of the most outstanding servants of God, was an adulterer and a murderer. When the Son of God <clears throat> became a human being, he really did become a become one of us the gospel makes no effort to sanitize his origins or the members of his immediate family there is no shortage of uh, skeletons in jesus cupboard when john says the word became human being and lived among us he said no less than than the truth and if jesus was totally incarnate in the world so that he could communicate the message of god's love to the world and for the world then we too must be totally incarnate we are not true to our calling if we think that in order to be true to christ we have to separate ourselves from a material and a sinful world we cannot be the salt of the earth unless we are fully inserted into but only then we also fully identify with the values and the conscience of the kingdom otherwise we are salt without taste amen may god bless us